Happy hour is meant to be fun, so the last thing you want is to overindulge and feel guilty. Joining us is Dawn Rattan from Village West Discount Liquors, so she's here to actually help us enjoy the holidays responsibly. Yes, so. we've got Christmas dinner coming up, mm -hmm. Christmas parties, and New Year's. There's a lot of opportunities to overindulge or overserve yourself. And you don't have to just completely cut yourself off. There's a way to do this in moderation. I have four tips for you. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna easy say, one. What is yeah? What's the rule for water? Yeah, this is super easy. Um, have your water. Um, you have a drink, then you have some water, then you have a drink, then you have water. So alternate every single drink with some water, a bottled water, a cup of water, so that you stay hydrated and you can control your calorie intake. Yeah, and it also helps to slow you down a little bit. It slows you down. <laughs> okay. You have, still have something in your hand, but then, it's not alcohol. I'm curious because I'm always looking for like maybe a healthy alternative. Yes. If we know that we will be drinking alcohol, what's mm -hmm. the healthiest drink we could have? So lately, surprisingly, uh, tequila has become the new health drink. It's not the tequila you had in high school. Okay. A couple of things to remember. If you're gonna, tequila is being touted as a drink to have. It is low calorie, 69 calories per ounce. It's low sugar. It has no carbs, it's gluten-free, and is also a probiotic, so it can help with digestion. The key to find to do is to find a tequila that is 100% agave. Um, okay. Don't get any tequilas that have coloring or that are just made with agave. It has to say 100% agave. And uh, this is your new health drink. Okay, so that's actually made from something natural versus yes. something added. Yes, and separate. it's gonna have a low glycemic index. Mm -hmm. So you're, uh, as opposed, we were talking about vodka earlier, some vodkas are gonna be made from grains. Yep. And so for people who are looking for a gluten-free option and a low carb option, tequila is it. Okay, and then what can we actually mix in if we want that cocktail? Yes. We're, we're not drinking anything straight, we just need a little mixer. Now, once you've got your tequila, what do you mix it with? So my suggestion is to mix it with a low calorie chase mixer or chaser. Mm -hmm. So you've got your flavored waters that are very popular, uh, LaCroix, bubbly on the market, and you've got um, club soda or even some crushed fruit, muddle some mm -hmm. fruit in it to give it some flavor. Contrary to popular belief, tonic has the same calories as a soda. Oh, wow. uh, okay. Club soda is going to be calorie free. Tonic is going to have calories. So these mixers and chasers are going to add a lot of calories and sugar to your drink. And when you, once you start adding sugar and alcohol together, it's just, that's one of the reasons why you may feel bad in the morning as well. Oh yeah. So in addition to the calories, calories and also kind of feel like not an easy yeah. wake up. Okay, and then wine. There is a yeah. common misconception, right? Yes. Just uh, stop pouring when it's full, but maybe that's not a true pour. Exactly. So uh, all over uh, the world, the common serving for wine is five ounces. Okay, so which and of these would it both be? Both of these are five ounces. Perfect. So what we're starting to do now as a society, we have this beautiful glass, a goblet, and it's only filled to here. So it doesn't look like you have a full serving. Mm -hmm. a, a five ounce serving of wine is anywhere between 115 and 120 calories. And so these are actually the same size serving, but it looks like you're getting more in this small glass than the larger glass. So just make sure you understand what a true serving size is when you're drinking your wine. And um, so they taste the same, same amount, and uh, to be mindful of that and to mix your water in as you drink your wine. Oh, and that's so important. And yeah. also a lot of people may be throwing some holiday dinner parties. Right. Which would you recommend kind of using as a good measuring bar? Because probably if you're pouring a lot of glass, being a good host, yep. it would be easy to overserve. It is. Um, I, at my personal house, we have mostly larger glasses because mm -hmm. the reason why you have a larger glass is for uh, true wine tasters. It's, it's open to aerate the glass a little oh, bit, wow. uh, for you to smell it and for the smells to come up. So glass technology, um, there is a science to the reason why you have the larger glass, okay. but we tend to over pour it and pour it up to here. Okay, so, so use the larger glass, yep. just don't over pour. Yep. Okay. And let's try a little bit of my favorite. Oh my gosh. Okay. Argyle. Here we go. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. Dawn, this is amazing. Thanks. Thank you so much. Now, we can actually go to Village West Discount Liquors in KCK. That is just three minutes from where Sporting Kansas City plays. Shop in-store or check them out online at villagewestdiscountliquors.com. 
And of course, always drink responsibly.